Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, did you get yourself the DJI FPV drone? And are you confused on how to activate it, set it up and get out flying really fast? Well, I'm gonna show you that really quick in this video and I'm not gonna take up a lot of your time. Here we go. So first thing, take everything out of the box. Here's the things you're gonna need, put them in front of you. So you've got the drone, you notice there's no battery in it. Well, you're gonna need the battery as well. So pull that out of the box and you're gonna find a little battery like this. That's for your goggles, pull that out of the box. Grab your controller, you're gonna need that. That. Uh, the goggles don't forget the goggles take that out of the box if you don't have a little cable coming out of the side of the goggles like this you'll find one in the box just plug it in that's your power cable there's only one spot it fits so you can't goof it up you're gonna need this really tiny goofy cable it's called an OTG cable it's very short it's got a square rectangular box at one end and a USB-C at the other you're gonna need that then you're gonna need a long USB-C cable and I'm pretty sure one comes in the box I think this one came out of the box and Anyways, you'll need one. Then you're gonna need the big charging brick and just plug in one cable in one end so you can plug it into the wall. And then you have a little cable coming out the other end. If you got yourself the motion controller, you're gonna need that too, pull it out. All right, we're not done yet. Next thing you're gonna need is a cell phone. Do you have a cell phone? Here, let me just turn mine on. So this is an iPhone. So for the iPhone people out there, I'll use an iPhone so that everybody's happy. And I'm gonna use a PC. And when I say PC, you can also have a Mac. So if you have a Mac or a PC, uh, then you're fine. So because I'm using an iPhone here, I'll also use a PC. So we have both worlds going on. You'll see why you need all that. So if you have all that, you're good. As long as you also have an internet connection, you need an internet connection. All right, that all sounds good. Here we go. First steps, you get this huge mess of stuff in front of you. Well, take that big charging brick. You know, you've got one cable coming out that you're gonna plug in the wall. You have a little cable here. Find a USB-C cable, you know that log one I pulled out, and plug it into one end of the charging brick. You'll see there's two ports on the end. Just plug your cable into one of the ports. There you go. So now we have a little cable sticking out and we have a long cable and then you have the cable that you're going to plug into the wall. Plug it in the wall. All right, for purposes here, I'm gonna pretend this is plugged into the wall. There we go. All right, so take that long USB-C cable and find your controller and at the very back is a spot to plug it in. Plug it in, it's gonna charge up throw it aside. Now, coming off that brick, you also have the short cable. That's for your battery. So find your big battery that came in the kit and it only goes one way. You can only fit it one way. Plug it into the battery. There we go. And put that aside. This is going to charge up. So now you're charging up two items. If you have like a charging brick that goes into the wall, well, then you'll have a USB-C cable coming off it, more than likely. If you do, plug it into the little battery and charge that up. Finally, if you want, if you have the motion controller, you're gonna have to charge that up too. Um, yeah, so it's, it's up to you if you wanna do that at this point or just leave it for another time. But if you want to charge this up as well, the USB-C is at the bottom. Plug in a USB-C cable there and charge it on up. Take your computer, uh, whatever you have, a desktop or a Mac or you have a laptop, PC or a MacBook, take it and go and download the DJI FPV Assistant software. It's on the DJI website. I'll put a link to it below. Click on that, download it, stick it on your system. If you have a Mac, it will give you all, probably all sorts of problems say, oh, this is not safe software. Don't worry about it, just figure out how to get around it and install it. If you know how to use a Mac, you'll figure it out. After you go through that task, then take your cell phone and look for the app, which is called DJI Fly. It doesn't matter if you have Android from the Google Play Store or on your iPhone and download the DJI Fly app because you're gonna need it and use it with this product. Now you've done all that, you're still waiting for things to charge up, so go watch my video called Captain Drone, how the heck do you fly this thing? And I'll put a link to it below. You're gonna learn how to fly this drone. Go watch that while you're waiting stuff to uh, charge up. So once everything's charged up, guess what? You're gonna have to update the firmware on every single device. Yes, if they are not all speaking the same language, they will not link together. DJI doesn't tell you that, but I'm telling you that. Take your PC or MacBook or desktop, laptop, whatever, mine's not turned on. I'm gonna pretend it's turned on here. I'll stick it over here. And you've downloaded the DJI FPV Assistant software. Start it up. Next, take your, let me grab a cable here. Take your USB-C cable, that long one that we have here, it's stuck in something, and plug it into your laptop. The other end, 
let's upgrade the firmware on one of these devices. Let's start with the goggles. So on the goggles, there's only one spot where it says USB-C and you plug this cable into the goggles. There we go. Nothing's gonna happen because there's no power going to this. Next on your goggles, remember that cable I said there'll be a power cable that's in the box that you got? And it's got like a round plug at one end and a uh, more of a rectangular plug at the other end. Well, that goes in the little hole on the goggles. Plug that in. That's so you get power to your goggles. Then what you're gonna do is take the little battery, the tiny battery here, and plug this in to that. Now, I'm gonna do it right in front of you. I'm gonna turn on my goggles, because a lot of people don't know how to do that. On this battery, there's a little button here, but to make it start up and send power to this device, you push it once, and then you push it a second time, but on the second time, you hold it in. And all four lights will light up one after another, and the fan on this thing will go on, and the screen on this thing will go on, like this. Ready? Here we go. Once twice. Watch what happens. Hear the fan. Fan's on. This thing's running. There's a display in the screen. And guess what happens? As soon as you turn this on and this thing starts to activate itself, it's going to send the signal through this cable down to your computer here where you have the DJI FPV assistant. And it's going to tell you on the screen that, hey, you've connected FPV goggles, and you'll see a little icon, FPV goggles. Click on that icon, follow the steps on how to upgrade the firmware. Just walk through, answer yes to everything, I acknowledge, whatever. You may, you may have to activate your goggles. The first time I did it, I had to activate my goggles, uh, but in later times I've done it, I didn't have to. And by activate, what I mean is that you just have to link the goggles to your account, your DJI account. If you don't have a DJI account, it will say, would you like to create one? Just create a DJI account. You need one. Matter of fact, you need that same account when you use the software on your phone, the DJI Fly app, same thing. You're gonna need your DJI account. It's just a simple account. All right, so after you get the button that says, hey, we gotta upgrade your firmware, you click yes, you'll see it goes through from zero to 100%. It might do it once or twice or three times. When it's all finished, it's gonna show you that your firmware is upgraded and you'll know it's done because on the right hand side, it's gonna have the word refresh. Refresh just means say one day you damage your goggles and you have to refresh the firmware. You click the refresh button and it refreshes the firmware that you already put inside this thing. So once all that is done, just find any arrows that are gonna take you back. You want out of that screen. So they're usually, they're at the, it depends on if you're using a PC or Mac, they're at the top left or top right corner. You'll see arrows or back button or whatever. So you can back out of that screen to go back to where you saw that little icon of the goggles. Then all you do is take this here cable right here out of your goggles, boing, and then power off your goggles. You do it the same way as you powered them on. So one press, second press hold, the lights will diminish and the goggles go off. There we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that USB-C cable, which man, I'm making a mess here. And we're gonna plug it into our controller. So you put your controller, put it right there, then take your controller and the power button's on the front. You're gonna push it once and second time, hold it in. The lights will increase, there's a sound. And uh, there we go, it comes on. And what happens is it sends a signal to your DJI FPV assistant and same thing, you'll see an icon that says, detect it, controller, FPV controller. Perfect, click on that icon. Go through the whole thing about setting up the firmware, just like you did with the goggles. Go from zero to 100% firmware updated. And then when you see that little refresh over on the right, showing you that it's all done, go hit the back button. And then when you get to the back button and everything's good, take this, yank it out. And then power these off, push, hold, and they're off. All right, so next, take your big battery here that's gonna go in the back of your drone, slide it in the back of the drone. It only fits one way. Push it in tight. Make sure that top part right here, which makes the connection with the two uh, metal connectors at the top of the drone, make sure that's pushed in nice and tight because that's how it gets power to the drone. Then turn your drone around, pull this gimbal off. If you can get it off, just pull it, push up on the bottom and it comes off. There we go, so we have the gimbal off, and then at the bottom of the battery, there's a power button, so push and hold. This thing will come to life. You'll see the lights come on. You'll hear that cool sound any second now. There we go, so this is powered on, and it's all set to go. Now the USB-C input 
is in the front. You pull down the front right under the camera and you'll see a spot to plug in a USB-C. So let's uh, take that cable again, plug it in there. There we go. So as soon as you have that plugged in, it looks like that, plop it down, it's powered on. And since you've left the DJI FPV Assistant going, well, guess what? It should recognize that you have a drone here, the FPV drone. You should see the icon. Once again, click on the icon. Go through all the steps, zero to 100. Upgrade the firmware. When you see it's done and you see that little refresh at the top right, then you can back out of it. And now your drone has the firmware all upgraded. It's that easy. Then take this, pull it out, and uh, you can power off your drone. You don't need it on for now. So double tap once and twice. Now, if you want to, you can do the same thing with your motion controller, same thing, plug in your motion controller at the bottom, power on the motion controller, same idea, update the firmware, and then you're all good. When everything's on the same version of the firmware, they are all gonna talk to each other. That's the benefit. So at this point, the good news is you're done with your computer. Take your goggles first, find that really tiny cable that looks like this, you know, the little one like that. And on your goggles, where you plugged in the USB-C cable is where you're gonna plug this end in, same spot. So you plug it in there. So it's on my goggles plugged in and I got this thing hanging off. Next, the end of this little cable will fit this USB-C cable. So depending on your phone, if you have an Android phone, you are in heaven because the end, the USB-C uh, end on here fits into most Android phones because most Android phones are a USB-C connector. But if you're like me with an iPhone, eh, eh, you're gonna have to use your cable that came with your iPhone or maybe you bought yourself a cable at a local drugstore or something. You know, something you plug into the back of your iPhone, which only has one type cable that fits in there. And the other end you plug into your computer if you ever wanna transfer data or do things. You need that sort of cable and it doesn't come in the kit. So when you have that sort of cable, if you are one of those poor people with the iPhone, then you plug it into the bottom of your phone. So let's just say this was the correct one. I forgot mine upstairs and I'm not going to get it. So I'm just gonna pretend this is the correct cable. So you plug it in the bottom of your phone and then take your phone, put it down. Next, we need power to everything. So here's what you're gonna do. Let's see, I've got a mess of everything here. We have to power everything on. I'm gonna get rid of this charging brick. So, gotta power everything on. So first thing, well, I'm, getting I'm getting rid of the motion controller. So first thing we do, power on the goggles. Next, power on the drone. You notice I don't put the props on. Never put the props on when you're doing any of this stuff. And then take your controller and power on your controller. So controller's powered on, goggles are powered on, drone is powered on. The brains of this whole operation is the goggles. Yes, so everything's beeping here. Your stuff may not beep because a beep signifies they are linked together. And since you haven't linked them all together, you may not get that beepy sound. Okay, so they're all powered on. You have the cable coming out of your goggles going into your phone. Start up the DJI Fly app. It might start up automatically now that everything's powered on, but if not, start it up and guess what? When it starts up, it's gonna recognize that, hey, you just bought the DJI FPV system. Yep, it will recognize it and it will prompt you to do all sorts of things. It's gonna prompt you, if you haven't activated everything with your DJI account, it's going to say, hey, you need a DJI account. If you already have one and you're logged in as that, well, then it will just work automatically. It's gonna ask you stuff like, hey, do you wanna buy DJI Care Refresh for this drone? It's gonna check the serial number on the drone and see if it has DJI Care Refresh. If it doesn't, it's gonna offer it to you and you can buy it right then and there. You have 48 hours to buy it. Uh, if you do have it, but it doesn't recognize it, it's gonna say, well, if you have it, type in the code that was given to you when you bought the DJI Care Refresh. You'll have some sort of, I don't know, five letter, nine letter code, and you type that in on the screen. And if you can't find that, don't worry about it. It will automatically adjust itself later because that code is attached to your account. And then after you do all that, it's gonna walk you through how to link everything. And it's gonna be as simple as just going, tap on the phone and everything links and you'll just see it waiting for a while and all the lights will turn solid on your controller, on your drone, the lights will come on solid everywhere and it will be all set to go. Now, if you bought the motion controller and you wanna link that as well, then I suggest turn off the remote control, turn off, start that whole process again, but with the remote controller off, leave this one on because it's a remote controller too and they're gonna be fighting each other. Leave this one on. Same idea, go through the app uh, and then this thing here should automatically link. 
And if it doesn't, go into your goggles and then find in your goggles where it says controller and it says motion controller, and it should show up. If it doesn't show up, it's too easy. You just, this is powered on. You just power, hold down the power button on here. The little lights will start going in a searching pattern, like back and forth, back and forth. Go back into your goggles, look inside, under controller, motion controller, you'll see it. Click, it should automatically link. It should be really, really simple. Now, when everything's linked, obviously, when you look inside the goggles, you're gonna see the image coming from the drone and you have access to the settings menu and everything else. So let me explain that really quick. So the settings menu on your goggles, you have a five-way button that can move in many different directions, four different directions and one down, which is the fifth method. Press that button in, click, makes a clicky sound. The menu pops up on your screen on the left-hand side. Use that little uh, joystick to move forward or backwards through the menu, left and right. Find where it says settings and like on a mouse, you know, your enter button. When you click this, that's like enter. So find a selection, click, that selects the selection. If you make a mistake and you wanna go back, the button that's right beside the joystick, that's your back button to get out of that menu. Go in the settings menu and set up anything. Set up your camera, do all the settings for your camera the way you want things to be, any other configurable settings that you want on the drone itself. All right, so you're pretty much ready to fly. Now I should mention, if you bought yourself extra batteries, you will have to put each battery into the drone with it powered on and the goggles powered on. Each time you put a new battery in, it's gonna tell you, hey, this battery is a new battery and it's missing the proper firmware. The goggles are gonna tell you that when you look through them and you can select yes or no to upgrade the firmware. So you'd click that little five-way button, upgrade the firmware of each battery. Every time there's a firmware update for this drone, you will have to upgrade every battery you own. Now, before you go fly for your first time, uh, you'll see in that front little section, there's a spot for a micro SD card. So get yourself a micro SD card and plop it in there. As well on your goggles, there's a spot for a micro SD card. So get a micro SD card and plop it in there. The reason you want a micro SD card on your goggles is because you can go into the settings and set up your camera so that every time you turn this on and go fly, it automatically records video. And you can have the same thing for your goggles that your goggles automatically record video. And the reason you want that is because if you fly this and lose it someplace, you're like, where the heck did I fly to? I know there's find my drone on your phone app when you plug it in and stuff like that. But trust me, this is the better way in the FPV world. By having the micro SD card in here and this recording video, when you lose this or land it someplace and you can't find it, well, then you just replay the video in here just by selecting the menu that says, hey, replay the video and rewatch your flight and where you landed. And then you can fly in your drone really easy. But you need a micro SD card in here to record that video too in order for that to happen. And finally, for everybody that's watched this, setting it up and is an experienced pilot and is into the FPV hobby, like behind me, FPV drones. So if you're watching this video and you're like, this is great. Okay, thanks, Steve. I'm all set up and I'm gonna go fly FPV right away. And you're gonna fly in manual mode on your little switch thing because you wanna do flips and rolls. You can't because the drone is in beginner mode when you get it and it stays in beginner mode. So the first thing you have to do is you're gonna to have to set your joystick on the left so it falls to the bottom. This here back panel comes off, you peel it back. It included in the box was an Allen key. If you're in the FBB hobby, you already have a screwdriver that's the right size. There's two little screws in the back and uh, just uh, tighten or loosen them so that this just has some stiffness to it and there's no more spring in it and it stays to the bottom. That's the first thing you do for your FPV professionals. Second thing is if you look at your switch here, you have N mode, normal mode, sport mode, and at the bottom it says M mode. That's manual acro mode. M mode, Manual acro mode is not enabled out of the box. It is in sport mode. So you have two sport modes, they're both the same. What you have to do is go into your goggles, go into the settings for controller, and then I'm showing you on the screen because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Go into the settings for controller and you want to configure that button on your controller. So you see on the screen I'm showing you when it's in M mode, it's no longer in sport mode, but rather in manual mode. So check that out, change it in your settings with your goggles. Second thing you have to do is if you want to do flips, flips and rolls and everything else, this will not let you unless you enable that. So you have to turn off. It's sort of like it's out of the box uh, 
when you put it in manual mode, it's sort of like a horizon mode. But if you want a full acro mode, you have to go and enable it. So I think you go into rates or something like that. Oh, I can't remember. Anyways, look on the screen. I'm showing you on the screen here. Go to that and you'll see a little option where you can take off the... Uh, Take off that where it stops the drone from flipping. I can't even remember what it's called. Anyways, you've seen it on the screen. Take that option off and you're all good. You can also find options in your goggles to turn on turtle mode for people in the FPV hobby and assign turtle mode to a switch on your controller. I have mine set to the C1 when I double tap it, tap, tap, it goes into turtle mode. I have C1 when I hit it once, it changes the LED lights on the drone. All right, so that took longer than I thought, but I hope this got you all set up, ready to fly if you're a beginner or a professional, just getting this thing going and get out the door and go fly. So uh, I'm going to end this video here and say I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for many more videos on how to do things. Take care. Bye.